Okay, beautiful friends, we are doing favorites. This is gonna be my March and April 2024 favorites. I try to do these videos every few months. I would love to be able to do them every month, but it really does take me a little bit of time to like actually fall in love with something or find out that I don't actually love something, so I try to space them out. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Penny. I am a master esthetician. I'm also a licensed hairstylist, and I just love all this stuff. I absolutely love testing out and finding the gems of things that are worth sharing. I'm gonna start with devices, because I wanna kinda just get that out of the way. Now, my device choices haven't changed much over the years. My zip is still my favorite microcurrent. That has been the same for three and a half years now. It is my favorite microcurrent device. In the last couple of months, Melanie did do a lip program with the zip and it really encouraged me to get that out even more than I already do, which is about two to three times a week right now. I have my zip out all the time because I like to do that little lip treatment pretty much every single day. I really, really enjoy that. If you own a zip, Try the lip program. It's really, really interesting. I did a comparison. I took a picture of my face with my reveal camera. The reveal camera is like a mini Vizia. And basically it shows you what's going on underneath the skin. So it shows you the reds, it shows you the browns. And you can do like close ups of texture and stuff like that. Anyhow, the fun thing about the zip was that I did a before picture, then I did the treatment with Melanie, and then I took an after picture, and you could clearly see, not the plumping of the lips, not any of that stuff, what you could see is there was a lot more blood supply to the lips. So it's not about just causing inflammation and puffing up your lips or anything like that. It's actually about encouraging the circulation to the lips, which is really good for them. It's good for the health of your lips. So zip isn't actually on my list today, but that lip program definitely is. And I've had so many people ask if you could do that with other microcurrent devices. I'm sure that you can. So if you want to just check out the zip app, look at Melanie, what she does and try it out with the microcurrent that you already own. Yeah. Try that out. Definitely give it a shot. Moving on to the devices that are actually in my favorites today. My first one is the Dr. Dr. Rajani LED mask. Now, I am pretty devoted to my higher dose mask. I really love that one. And the reason why I love that one particularly is it fits my face really, really well. It wraps around the back and then it just feels very snug because you can pull down from the top and it feels like the entire mask is like where it's supposed to be. It's not sitting off of my face, something like that. Now, for some people, that might not be a great thing. I think there are different masks that fit people differently and so they're gonna like them for different reasons. That one happens to fit me really well and I really like it for that. The Rajani mask is similar. I put it on and it has this submental piece that goes underneath your chin and then it wraps around the top. So same thing, it's very snug and I really, really like it. And I love that there is LED going on under here. I love that. I love the idea of getting that treatment in down here for elasticity in particular. Collagen, yes, but also for protecting our elastin down here. The fact that this gets kind of stretched out-ish is partly due to losing that elastin. So I love it for that. Now this one I covered when I did, a couple months ago I did an LED video, I will link down below. And this was one of my like new discoveries. Dr. Rajani did send me this mask, but he sent it with absolutely zero conditions. Like you don't have to even share it ever, just enjoy it. And he is so proud of it as he should be. Now it has several different modes and it does have a mode without the near infrared, which is pretty cool. But in that mode, it does also have blue. So you really want to be aware of blue light with hyperpigmentation. You wanna be aware of blue light if you are Asian. Just be careful of blue. It could cause hyperpigmentation. So that's something to be aware of. However, this also has a red near infrared setting. So it has those two comboed together, which that is the combo that is supposed to generate the most collagen, be the most anti-aging. So this is definitely my first favorite. It is so good. The design is unique. There's nothing else like it on the market. And it is the mask that I've been reaching for the most recently, even more than my higher dose mask, which says a lot. The next device is one that I have been testing for like 
four months now, I think about four months, and it is this Joves or Jobs, I'm not sure, I unplugged it by the way, it does have a plug, it has to be plugged in when you're using it. What this is, this is the first IPL, I'm going to call it IPL even though they call it DPL, but it is the first IPL that actually says that it targets the reds and the browns and it is not just a hair removal IPL that has an attachment for skin. This one is made specifically for browns and for reds. It is the first time that I've used one of these at home when I was like, that has a little bit of an actual zing to it. Completely comfortable. You can't, it's not, it isn't like going in and getting an IPL in office. None of these are ever going to be like that but it is the closest I have ever felt. Now I've been testing this out and I will tell you that with the naked eye, I feel like my skin has gotten brighter. That's with the naked eye and we all know that I do a lot of stuff. So I do a lot of stuff to combat the hyperpigmentation that I have. I do a lot of stuff to combat the texture that I have because I am gonna be 51 years old and I have all of that just like anybody else would. And I feel like this is really, really helping to improve the situation. Now I have been using this currently about three times a week. In the beginning, I used it like six days a week and I, it was really easy. It takes under 10 minutes. All I did was I would cleanse my skin and I would put nothing on at all. You don't have to use any conductivity gels, nothing like that. The cool thing about this is it has a very cool tip. So when you turn it on, you can also get continuous shots and the cool tip. So you can actually keep your finger off of the button. You don't have to keep firing, which so there are others like that on the market and that cool tip and you can just sit and do, and it's pretty fast and pretty efficient. I will say that by the end of the treatment, because what I do is there's three different modes, I actually go through every single mode in a treatment. So I'm gonna say it's like eight to 10 minutes treatment time. By the end of the treatment time, the cooling tip isn't as effective. It all feels kind of warm. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't feel too warm or anything like that, but I do notice that the heat has begun to overtake the ability of the cool plate to actually be cool, at least in my experience with this device. The red reducing is still very subtle. I feel like I am noticing an overall clear complexion, but the redness reduction is still subtle. That's the one where I think that it's just the most challenging. I mean, we're trying to get into vascularity and affect it, it's a tough one, but I am noticing some kind of an overall brightening. So this is the first new device. I mean, LED is not new. This is not new. I've been talking about LED forever, and I guess that IPL is not new either, but this is the first different device I have added into my arsenal in years. I've been talking like a broken record about my zip, about my LED devices, whichever that those are, and those have been kind of the two uh, other than microneedling. So this is kind of fun to finally have found a device that I feel like I can actually say, yeah, this is another one that I think is really good. So that is the Joves DPL. Now, somebody actually recommended that I pick up their LED mask and I may do that. It's very expensive. I bought this myself, by the way. Um, the LED mask is pretty expensive. It's like moving in on, I don't know, maybe even $800. And this is kind of silly, but the Joves LED mask is so unappealing to me as far as like it's brown and it just doesn't look, I don't know, it, and which I realize that's ridiculous. If it's a really good mask, then who cares? But let me know what you think about that. If you have checked out that Joves mask and what your opinion is on it, you know, I, I would love to know because it, I think it might be laser and not just LED, I have to look into it more, but I've been so put off by the look of the mask that I haven't dug in further, plus the cost of the mask. So I'd love to hear if you would like a review on that, if I should splurge and get it and test it out, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so those are the devices that I wanted to share with you today. Let's move into skincare. So I'm gonna start with body because I only have two things. One is this Riddle oil. It is a beautiful lightweight oil that I use every time I get out of the shower or the bath. 
I love it. It is in the, um, I think it's called original. It's called original. It has like pheromones in it and stuff. It is the most subtle, beautiful, just alluring scent that you can't even put your finger on. It is so gorgeous. I want to say there's a little bit of like musk in there, but it is absolutely beautiful. Now, we know that when you put the body oil on, it isn't an occlusive and it isn't going to do a lot of hydration. So for me, when I put this on, I will then top it with a body moisturizer. Like I can't just put this on and be done or else I actually don't feel much better than before I put it on except for that I smell really good. So what I have been doing is I've actually been using the Naturium Body Butter. Now this also has this super, super subtle scent almost like the beach. I don't know. It's very, very subtle to me, but it is this great cream. And I love this over top of that oil. So like I'll get out of the shower, get out of the bath. I'll put I'll like a lot. I'll put like three pumps of the riddle and I will spread it on, spread it all over while I'm still even a tiny bit damp. I'd let it kind of soak in a little bit. And honestly, at that point, that's when I do my hormones. I do my HRT. I have transdermal estrogen and transdermal testosterone. I will put those on different places, obviously, because I got to stand there and kind of let everything sort of soak in anyway. So I give it a little bit of time and then I go in and I put this body butter over it then I have to let it sit just a little bit longer before I like get dressed or something like that and it is like you have the softest best smelling most beautiful body skin with those two things so good now on another note that I want to share there is a perfume that somehow I found I don't even know where I was I was in some thread on YouTube or something like that. It is by Dead Cool. Dead Cool Extra Milk is what this is called. This smells a lot like this. A lot. They have some kind of note similarity. So I love to use this as my body oil and then I use this as my perfume. This is actually like a spray oil, but it's very, very thin. It isn't as oily as like an actual body oil, but there's an oil like component to it. I can still put this like at the nape of my neck and it doesn't bother my hair. doesn't make me greasy or anything like that. This is so, so gorgeous. And I wish I could credit whoever I saw talk about it because it is beautiful. And whenever I have worn this, my husband is like, wow, you smell so good. And it's that kind of smell good where everything is close to you. You have to be kind of in the proximity to get the, you know, to get that scent of you. It's not something that's going to project way out into the room and overpower other people. But when people do get slightly close to you, they're like, whoa, you smell really, really good. Like really good. Anyway, so I've been loving this because it is like the compliment to this. They are not related in any way as far as like they're different companies and everything, but a match made in heaven for sure. Okay, so let's move on to regular skincare. I only have like four things, but they are four good things. The first one is going to be this, I don't even know how you pronounce it, but it's Tir Tir, T-I-R, T-I-R. I don't know where I saw this, but this is the Milk Skin Toner Light. Now I purchased the Milk Skin Toner the full full fat one and for me this one is too much hydration like it makes me almost kind of greasy so what i've been doing with this one is i've actually been using it on the back of my hands i've been putting it on my body i actually keep this in the office now just so that i can use it up so i picked up the light version and i know that this is probably for people who have oily skin combo skin etc i think that this is so wonderful for dry skin people, if you want just a little bit of extra hydration, you need just that extra help. If you wash your face and you immediately wanna put something on to just kinda of take the edge off, to take that dryness off, this is gorgeous. If you like the Sukiyaka Suhada, the Urea Moisture Essence, which I love that, I have loved that for years, this is a little bit more hydrating than that, but it is less hydrating than this. This actually reminds me of the Laneige the mm, cream, I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's like in this kind of a, um, it's this kind of a form. It's like a liquid cream skin, I think it's called. This reminds me of that, only this is a little bit thinner than that, 
but it leaves me feeling that hydrated, which is a little over the top for me. If you are super, super dry, you might like the Milk Skin Toner, but if you're just normal to dry, normal skin, and you like to have a nice hydrating essence, this tier tier, the light version is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so next on the skincare front is Dr. Rajani. Now they sent me a box of things and I have tested several of the things, but one of the things that I tested that I have fallen in love with is their Age Defense SPF 45. This is such a fantastic SPF. You guys, I don't come across SPFs that I am like, oh, I really love that. This goes on, it is not tinted, and I'm actually kind of liking that right this second. I still love my Dermatology Universal Tinted. Like, that's gonna be my, my go-to forever. I absolutely adore that one. This one is non-tinted, but what I love about it is it moisturizes my skin, gives my skin this kind of sheer glow, but it dries down and it is not sticky, it is not goopy, and it leaves my skin looking hydrated and looking glowy without being greasy. That is not that easy to do because a lot of times people like me who have dry skin can talk about an SPF that makes me glowy and immediately the you know oily skin people are like, oh, never. This one I could actually see being really, really great if you have combination skin or even if you have oily skin. I do not think that this is too over the top, like dewy, that you would not like it. I have been using the Dermatology the Under Eye Masks every day. I've been really, really consistent with using these every single day. And I am convinced that when I do that, I've done this in the past where I really was like, you're going to use them every single day. We're not going to miss a single day. It does help to lighten up under eye pigmentation helps to brighten the under eye area. So with these eye masks, I have to say, if you just wear them once a week, maybe twice a week, I don't think you're gonna see the benefit that you wanna see. You're probably gonna be really underwhelmed by these. But if you use them every single day, you can give yourself, say, a month, and maybe take a before and after picture and really kind of see if you look brighter from day one to day 30, for example. The cool thing is they come with 60 of them in there, so you can actually use a set a day. If, and most of us, are we're gonna miss a day here and there. So they do last more than a month, and that is with really super consistent use. But I am convinced that that is how we truly, really, really see this brightening of the under eye. The hydration is superficial, but the brightening, because you're putting those ingredients on as a treatment every single day, I definitely feel like I am noticing that I am getting brighter under my eyes because I committed. I said, you're gonna use those every day. Sometimes you have to be really intentional with your skincare. That's what I've been doing with these, and I definitely am noticing a difference. Last on the skincare list is going to be the Revive Serum. This is the ultimate serum that has been redone. This is definitely my favorite version of a growth factor serum, an exosome serum, etc. Mostly because I use this very first in the morning and very first at night in my entire skincare routine. I just love the supporting cast in this one. I love all of the things that are in there in addition to the growth factors and the exosomes. I've talked about it before, but this has Arbutin in it. Now, Arbutin is a pigment inhibitor. I have hyperpigmentation. I have serious hyperpigmentation. Like when my makeup is off, you can see that I am still a freckled human. And honestly, I will be a freckled human forever. That is that is what I am. And so even if I get rid of my sunspots, I still have freckles. But Arbutin helps to kind of even out the complexion and soften the freckles, which is kind of what I'm going for at this point. Now, otherwise in here, tons of humectants. There's some antioxidants. There's tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, which is vitamin C. I wouldn't say that this is a vitamin C substitute, but the fact that it's in there makes this kind of a multitasking serum. And that is why I love it, especially moving into summertime. And I have a lot of travel coming up. And this is one of those things I can take with me and it can kind of be my one and done serum, 
even though that's kind of like my needleless. I have a couple others that I really, really like for being a humectant, being a this, being a that. This is kind of one of those things where I'm like, well, if I take this, I can leave some other stuff aside because this checks a lot of boxes for me. I love the consistency of it. It is kind of like a gel serum. Now it looks like it's gonna be really a gel, but as soon as you start to work it in, it feels almost like water. So it is very, very thin once you put it on. It just doesn't drip initially. And the reason why that's really nice is that you put it on and it disappears into your skin and then you can go on with your skincare routine. Now, I am saying I do that first even before I do something like this. So I am putting this on first. Personally, I give it a little bit of time. You don't have to. There's no directions that say that you have to put this on and wait. I just do give it a little bit of time and then I'll go in with whatever I'm doing next, which right now is an essence because I'm totally digging it. I'm into it. And that's how I then go on with my skincare routine. So love, love, loving that and have for a really, really long time. It is just one of my all-star products that for a while I was rotating. Do I use it at night? Do I use it in the morning? Now I'm using it morning and night all the time all the time. Let's talk about some good makeup. I have a few really fantastic things to share with you. Number one is this mascara that I discovered recently and a bunch of you probably know about it, but it is such a good mascara. It is My Amazing Lashes by Wow Combo. Looks like this. It is a tubing mascara. It is brown and it is such a good brown. It is really lengthening. I mean, I am like, whoa, that looks amazing. Now, my lashes are actually a little bit longer because I have been pretty consistent with my Revive, um, Revive Lash. Yeah, my Revive Lash. I use this every single day. Sometimes I even use this twice a day. Sometimes I end up using this at night before bed and I use it in the morning. Sometimes I can't remember if I did one or the other, so I just do it. It does not bother my eyes, lashes, nothing, and it's prostaglandin free. But what's really cool is I can absolutely tell that my lashes are getting longer. And then this just throws on the wow factor, literally. The cool thing is that it comes in that brown. This is the first mascara that I can actually say is better than my beloved Thrive. Now the cool thing about this one is it's about 18 bucks. I did the subscribe and save on Amazon and it took it down to $17. And I'm like, okay, that is probably 10 bucks less than I'm paying for Thrive. So I'm good with it and it's better than Thrive as far as I'm concerned. Let me know if you've tried this one out. This one is also better than the Hymish. So for those of you who are wondering, because that's a good tubing mascara as well, this is definitely better than that one too. I, I mean, really, this is probably the best tubing mascara I've come across. I love that it comes in a good dark brown and it does also come in black. So that is the My Amazing Lashes by Wow Combo. Okay, next is gonna be a concealer by the brand Dundas. Looks like this. This is so good, you guys. I love that it comes in this form that you can roll up, we wouldn't roll it up that much, and just use on the go. It's perfect for carrying with you and doing touch-ups if you want to. I like to put this really sparingly in this part of my eye area, and the brush I've been using is the Nicky LaRose N15, N14. I saw her in like a reel or something and she was using this. It might've been an actual full length video. I can't remember, but she was like, I love this brush. I'm obsessed with it. It's her own brush that she helped design. And it is, so, I ordered it. I watched that and I was like, I'm ordering that brush. So good. And I would have never ever thought to use such a fluffy little brush for your concealer. But I sit and I really take the time to buff gently buffing, buffing, buffing. And pretty soon I feel like I get this kind of airbrushed finish to my under eyes. Last thing is this Dior Glow highlighter. You guys, this is probably the prettiest liquid highlighter I have ever purchased. It is so gorgeous. I love the way that the wand is. So you can put just a couple of little dabs on the highlights, you know, the high parts of your cheek and just press it in and you get this really beautiful, you know, glow off of the cheeks. 
This is so pretty. Put onto the lips, kind of blot it out, and then you can put a gloss over it. I've been putting this on and then topping it with the Dermatology Treatment um, Lip Balm, which I love over top of this. Just that combo gives you this subtle, not overly shiny, but kind of that mod look. I can also use this with one of these Sephora lip liners because these Sephora lip liners are actually very glossy. They are almost like a lip gloss lip liner. And so they look really good when you are wearing um, like glosses and when you're wearing stuff that is more like your lip, when you're wearing a lip balm. They also look really great with actual lipstick, but not all lip liners look good with lip gloss, and these really do. So I've been loving this combination on my lips also. This is just so gorgeous. I could see putting this on just your, if you had brown eyes, I could see putting this Dior onto your eyelid. It is just the most beautiful, cool toned baby pink and it is just beautiful, beautiful. This whole collection, the Dior Glow, to me knocked it out of the park. Like I like everything that I bought from that collection when it first launched, but that one to me is like the star of the show. I sure hope that you are having a really fantastic day. Share down below what's something you have been loving. I love when you share your recommendations with me. I buy almost everything you suggest to me, whether it's a device, skincare, all of it. I mean, I am always like, ooh, I'll try that. I gotta look that up. So please do keep those recommendations coming. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next skincare video. Take care.